Hi viewers, welcome back by Research Channel. In this video, we are exploring real-time uh, preemptive scheduling of emergency vehicle traffic analyzing. So, in this project, in this video, we are cover step-by-step -step guide you how to implement this project in your system and uh, this M project will be enhanced to the preemptive emergency routes uh, detect the ambulance and uh, with the help of the RoboFlow and uh, Python and computer vision technology. So let me implement in our system. Let me guide you step by step. So start from sketch. So viewers, you see my screen. We are starting from sketch. First of all, uh, I am upload one in front of you one video okay so you see the my uh, browser interface so we are uploading one uh, video file if you want to image you can do it but we are analyzing traffic in a traffic video so this project m is smart automation when ambulance is detect to automatically uh, trigger out to uh, traffic uh, signals will be automatically open in the same route. So, uh, how to work this algorithm and how to we achieve this uh, customized data set? We will uh, going to step by step. So, first of all, uh, and technically, I am closing all uh, all programming application. And front of you, I am just open the pycharm platform okay so guys after pycharm open you will select the project and my project name is the pyresis smart traffic so here i am open it and uh, you see the app file and uh, here static file a static folder and also templates folder uh, one HTML file and the second one is play and third one is the CSS file so main file is our Python obviously so first you need to understand how to install the dependency install going to the setting side after setting side you can see Python interpreter and select the if you have already environment you can do it in same step otherwise you will uh, sign the uh, you can see the plus sign and here install flask okay after install flux second one is roboflow okay after you done this installation part roboflow then you go to uh, plus uh, okay icon okay this one close and okay and apply okay so here cv2 inference and we are all achieved the roboflow library now we are going to here uh, data set side how we implement this data set let me show you first go to the roboflow after you can see sign in after sign in you will implement and uh, let me show you api key first first of all here this one setting api key just copy okay copy and paste here open the pie chump okay i am close the my sublime here paste here okay after paste here the you can see we are here using the this type of data set ambulance 18 search it roboflow so you will see the top of uh, ambulance data set is available but we are targeting this one okay i am already have the data set 
but I am going to step by step. So you can see that uh, ambulance data set folder. Okay, this ambulance. So main is the our logic. Our logic is the signal automatic free when ambulance is detected. Means emergency side uh, automatically signal is open when uh, same route nearby signal will be passed the uh, passing time of the ambulance. So uh, main target is to freely uh, automation and safe uh, traffic uh, roadside. Okay, we will put put here. You can see how you get the here four. But we need uh, we have already ambulance and uh, 18 data set our okay i am op uh, after you can see uh, we api key and uh, robo flow key uh, this function will be called the predict the uh, object how can do it so let me explain to you first you need to understand frame per frame process we defined the one class after class we mentioned the model id after you can see we put the condition if prediction result to see the rectangle boxes and uh, x axis y axis width height will be in shape of uh, uh, rectangle boxes and uh, text uh, rectangle box color okay and put the text okay after you can see uh, we are written to the all these frame per seconds okay and now we will generate the video format if you want to use the webcam we will do it and uh, we are put the uh, one webcam function function also now here loop function okay after loop function we are releasing all video frame per seconds okay so here and now we will call the html files also uh, css and uh, uh, html file so we will put the two three one button and two three icons two button one video format second one upload the video okay upload the video and the video path okay and uh, play the icon and now we are mentioned after uploading we are mentioned to the video feed means you will see the one url also generate video format and see the all uh, video and usb webcam result okay so let me run this algorithm in front of you i have already created the environment so i uh, uh, just press the running icon and explanation the code and data set model how to fix let me show you this ambulance data set also just copy and paste okay you will see the more label image data set in front of you 9999 images you you will get also this one but we have already this code in uh, my github account and also mention the data set folder so this code you will be utilized in your laptop uh, see my screen and this step by step so we are copy this link and we are going to safari uh, google chrome and paste here you see the uh, this one button and this one uh, choosing file uploading file let me explain the code in detail in front of you uh, uploading setup and here in front of you uh, video feed means uh, webcam okay your webcam 
okay and here choose now this time we will choose the video file and upload after upload you will wait one two seconds uh, for the processing now whole project query means uh, objective when our ambulance is detect uh, in our web api uh, so when road nearby signal will be free this is the automation how we implement the computer vision logic in this project we will use the custom data set in front of you from the RoboFlow and we will detect the easily this project this project name is the smart traffic so this is the whole logic uh, need to understand uh, step by step so uh, we will creating more informational videos uh, keep in touch see you in next video